So as you've probably noticed lately, Donald Trump has received a surprising amount of pushback from his own base, and this is because he dared to endorse the COVID-19 vaccines. So it all started at an event with Bill O'Reilly, where he not only restated that he's vaccinated, but that he took the booster as well. And MAGA jets immediately melted down and they turned on him because what he did to them was a moral sin. And after that, he had some interviews with other individuals who tried to push back. Candace Owens, for example, tried to get him to admit that the vaccines were bad, but he didn't. He doubled down even after she was trying to claim that the vaccines were killing people. And he corrected her and said, no, actually, it's the unvaccinated currently who are dying due to COVID-19. And now he was asked after seeing the damage that it's caused politically, if he has any regrets in an interview with an OAN reporter. And he says no. And he triples down. And I think that he's actually taking this personally because he once probably believed that he could say anything and his supporters would go along with it because this was a cult of personality and still is to a large extent. He once said he could shoot someone on Fifth Avenue and get away with it. But that doesn't seem to be the case, at least when it comes to vaccines. So he was asked if he had any regrets and he tripled down and also took a shot at another politician who isn't saying what he's saying about vaccines. Take a look. Do you reconsider your push for it? Or what's your view now on the vaccine in general? Well, I've taken it. I've had the booster. Many politicians, I watched a couple of politicians be interviewed. And one of the questions was, did you get the booster? Because they had the vaccine. And they, oh, they're answering it like, in other words, the answer is yes, but they don't want to say it. Because they're gutless. You got to say it. Whether you had it or not, say it. Right. But the fact is that I think the vaccine has saved tens of millions of people throughout the world. Okay. Uh, I have had absolutely no side effects. I've had it like other people have had it. Nothing special. I've had it. Hmm. I wonder who he could possibly be talking about. Have you gotten the booster? So uh, I, I've done whatever I did, the, the normal shot. And, you know, that at the end of the day is people's individual decisions about what they want to do. So in other words, yes, you did take the booster and Donald Trump is absolutely correct about you. You know, the booster is important, but you're not saying you got the booster for purposes of political expediency because, you know, that's a red line with the GOP base. The GOP's far right conspiratorial base is not going to accept anyone who is pro vaccine. So you're going to get vaccinated because you know that they will protect you and then you're going to lie to the base or at least evade questions about your vaccine status just to make sure that they're happy. So Ron DeSantis here, unlike Donald Trump, is reading the room. He knows what will play with the GOP's base in 2022 and more importantly, 2024. And Trump sees this and he's not happy about it. So now he's taking direct shots at Ron DeSantis to try to break him down a little bit. And it's bizarre to me because Donald Trump, 99% of the time his mouth is open, he's lying. But when it comes to the vaccines, he's telling the truth because... He's right that the vaccines are an incredible accomplishment, and he wants to take credit for that going into 2024, and he's mad that his own base isn't allowing him to take credit for something that he believes he was a part of. So not only is he angry and he's trying to triple down and quadruple down to make sure that he changes the narrative with respect to vaccines, but he doesn't like that other politicians are one-upping him with the base and they're winning over approval because they're saying the correct things about vaccines. And this is only the beginning of a potential feud with Ron DeSantis because according to New York Times reporter Maggie Haberman, her sources are saying that Trump is about to wage a full-fledged war on Ron DeSantis. She writes, Trump has been telling people that DeSantis won't say the magic words, meaning won't tell him he won't run against him in 2024. That's part of what's happening. But a smart Republican makes the point that Trump is not only positioning himself to get credit for a vaccine he once demanded it for, but he is trying to make DeSantis look like a typical politician who won't be straightforward. So this is actually surprisingly savvy of Donald Trump because he's trying to recapture the magic of 2015, where he'd call out other Republicans for being rehearsed, using focus group driven talking points and just overall being fake and phony. So if he can't beat DeSantis when it comes to vaccines, what he can do is explain how DeSantis, even if he agrees with the GOP base on vaccines, is lying to them. He's a phony politician, just like all these other politicians. So Trump is gearing up to politically slaughter Ron DeSantis, unless Ron DeSantis kisses his ring. 
and says, I'm not going to run in 2024. But because Ron DeSantis hasn't said those magic words, as Trump has reportedly said, at least according to Maggie Haberman's source, Trump sees that as a shot across the aisle. Well, you haven't bowed down like every other Republican and kissed my ring. Therefore, I have to assume that you are a threat, and I will now begin the work to dismantle your political career if you choose to run against me. Now, currently, if you look at public opinion polls, Donald Trump is still by far and away the favorite to win in 2024. But in the events, Trump continues to push vaccines and the base is still reluctant to change and adapt to his stance. If Ron DeSantis comes out as de facto anti-vax, he could begin to see his poll numbers rise. Because again, if you want to win with the GOP, you have to tell them what they want to hear. And basically, everything that Donald Trump said is what they wanted to hear, at least up until this point. Vaccines was the red line, and Trump crossed that line. And now seeing that he may pay a political price for it in 2024, he's trying to course correct now and get ahead of somebody who might be able to one-up him before it's too late. So uh, you love to see it. You love to see Republicans rip each other apart, especially two ghouls as evil as Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis. But honestly, when it comes to both of them, I genuinely don't know who's more damaging for democracy because Donald Trump, he is incompetent and he's not necessarily able to accomplish what he wants politically. He's turned on Mitch McConnell. He called Mitch McConnell, I believe, a loser in an NPR interview where he walked off that interview because he was challenged over the big lie. Uh, but at the same time, you know, that big lie really is damaging. It is leading to people losing faith in democracy and resorting to violence or wanting to resort to violence as a result. But when it comes to Ron DeSantis, he might not necessarily be explicitly parroting the big lie. But Ron DeSantis is someone who actually is more politically astute and he can pull off things that Donald Trump wasn't able to pull off. He hasn't burnt as many bridges as Donald Trump. So it's, it's tough to say. I think both would be really dangerous. But who's more dangerous? I'd probably argue Ron DeSantis currently. I, I mean, I, it's, it's difficult to say. But either way, you know, what we're seeing here is the start of a political feud that I really am uh, excited to see play out. I hope they both destroy each other. But odds are, who knows? I think that Donald Trump, ultimately, he is able to read the room. And if he sees that the vaccine thing isn't working for him, I wouldn't be surprised if he just does a 180 and lies because... It's Donald Trump, and he's not against lying. He, he does it most of the time. So we'll see how this plays out. But either way, him calling Ron DeSantis gutless, that's a pretty big shot. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.